Welcome to the It Gets Better From Here podcast, where we help divorced women rediscover their true selves, reclaim their power, and rebuild a life even better than before. I am a transformational coach, a founder, and your host, Cheryl Marquez. I understand firsthand the post-divorce struggles because I have been there myself, and now I'm going to show you the way forward. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you never miss an episode. Thank you so much for being here. I started a podcast for a couple of reasons. One is to truly fulfill my mission of positively impacting the lives of millions of divorced women and single moms. Another one is because truly this is going to be an audio diary for my boys long after I'm gone, if they're ever in a place where they're questioning what should they do, where should they go, gosh, I wish my mom was here to ask for advice, well, they can play back all of the audio that I'll be recording and also get insights from the guests that I'll be having on the show. And it will help them at least give them some sort of guidance long after I'm gone. And the other one is because there is truly nothing out there that quite puts everything together in the way that I have been able to blending science, spiritual wisdom, alternative healing modalities, and a ton of personal experience, personal experience, aka mistakes. That way you can avoid them and do it better this time around. This podcast is also going to help me build a true connection with my amazing community, all of you. There is no better way than to get to know someone on an intimate level than a podcast. So I thank you so much for being here and for tuning in. This show is not about bashing men. It is not about talking shit and airing my ex's dirty laundry because truly for being 22 years old when we got married and having a 13 year run, we did pretty good. And even as devastating as it was for me to experience a betrayal in the way that it went down for he and I, I truly only have great memories, mostly great memories of our time together. And if he this if this ever falls into his lap somehow some way you know who you are i just want you to know that i wholeheartedly and fully forgive you we had a great run the road ended where it needed to end and hopefully you can also forgive me if there's anything that i've ever done that made you feel less than or made you feel a certain way i hope that you can forgive me because I completely forgive you too. And we created two amazing, beautiful human beings that's on this earth today, making a positive impact just by being themselves as well. So I hope somehow, some way this actually gets back to you because we've never had a sit down. Um, And I don't know why this is coming out right now, but I'm running with it. So there is that. Just a brief background on me. I immigrated from the Philippines to America when I was eight years old. It was a huge culture shock. I barely spoke English. And let me tell you, anything that makes you stand out or makes you different when you're in elementary school, shit, life period, but especially in elementary school, you're going to have a rough time. So really, I learned about adversity from a very, very young age. Fast forward to my life here, my childhood, it was really rough actually i grew up in a really toxic environment and as much as i'd like to dive deep on that in this episode we're not going to get into it because it's probably going to take like two or three seasons just to get to that point well fast forward now i'm taking you to a, a time warp fast forward to when i was 18 years old because my environment was so toxic as soon as i graduated from high school i ended up running away When I made a decision to leave my house, I promised myself that I would never go back there again. I would do anything and everything it took to make a better life for myself and to make sure that my children, they were not treated the way that I was treated. And that's exactly what I've done since then. I met my ex-husband. Actually, we went to high school together and we met again, reunited when we were 19. 
from 19 to 22, we dated. And at 22, we made a decision that we were going to get married. So we got married at 22. And looking back, I'm thinking to myself, my gosh, we were kids. And what did we really know about building a life? Well, we just you know, ebbed and flowed and made it work and did as much as we possibly could with what we knew how. And, you know, like I said, the road ended where it needed to end. And so I really felt a calling to give back after I have rebuilt mine and my children's lives to address the needs of divorced women and single moms struggling to connect with traditional therapy like I did. At that time, I did not know anything about depression. I am inherently a very happy person. And the only way I could articulate depression was that I lost my mojo and a dark cloud was over my head. That was the only way now, in hindsight, that's actually what depression felt like. Oh, and also, hello, here's a big clue. I gained 28 pounds in eight months because I could not get full. I turned to food for comfort and come to find out that was just a huge part of an emotional eating issue that I was having at the time, which exacerbated my body dysmorphia that I had for over two decades. I was in such a low place. I was over sampling the free snacks at grocery stores because I did not trust myself to take it home. In fact, I got caught one time at one of the grocery stores that I would frequent. And one of the um, people working there, they followed me and said, uh, can I help you? When they realized, wow, this person is constantly here pretending to buy groceries. But in fact, she's just eating the freaking free samples. I knew I had a major problem at that point in time. But still, there were there wasn't anyone or, you know, anything that really truly resonated with where I was at and what I was going through. So I had to come up with my own answers. Another thing I was struggling with is I was so disconnected from the truth of myself. I never had an opportunity to get to know me because I was codependent from the time I could remember. I grew up in the Philippines. I was with my family. We are very, very tight. I moved here when I was eight years old. In fact, my grandma at the time had to sleep with me for I don't know how many weeks because I was not used to being by myself. That did not serve me in life. I should say, yeah, I, that did not serve me in life because I went from relationship to relationship, not even knowing I was codependent. So when I had a high school sweetheart and that relationship ended after four years, I had a little bit of a break. Then I reunited with my high school friend who then became my ex-husband. I never had a chance to get to know myself during that time. So when I found myself divorced at 36 and a single mom, let me tell you, I had no idea how I was going to rebuild myself and my life or what was even in store for midlife. I thought 36 years old, oh my gosh, that's it. I'm absolutely done. But life said not so fast. You're going to go through a lot of pain and suffering because you have a bigger mission to fulfill in this life. And that is to be here to help guide and lead and show other divorced women and single moms the way forward. Because I have already been through so much of the mistakes where not to be, what not to do, what not to show up as. And so that's truly the point of this podcast is to help you reinvent the way that you see fit that's right for yourself and to finally, once and for all, reclaim your power. If you like anything that you've heard so far in this episode or future episodes, please hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode and also share with others. That way we can collectively help uplift humanity one person at a time.